Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Oval RC, and today I'm going to show you my race hauler, my pit box, my car hauler, whatever you guys want to call it. But this is what I use to transport my car, my tools, and everything I need to go racing from my house to the track. There's so many different choices when it comes to pit boxes or car haulers, but I know I needed something to break down into a couple different sections, and I know I needed wheels on it, and I wasn't sure whether I wanted my car to fit inside the box or not, but I know I needed it to fit inside the back seat of my truck or into the back of a small car or a trunk. So I was walking through my local home center. I knew I was gonna go with one of these portable toolboxes, but I wasn't sure which brand. So I called a friend and he said, you wanna check out Craftsman, the VersaStack system? He said they have a lot more options with their VersaStack system than any other brand. So I found out Lowe's carried the Craftsman brand. So I went to my local Lowe's home center. I found the boxes, I stacked them all up because I wanna try it out. It's just like buying a pair of sneakers in a shoe store. You want to run up and down the aisles. You want to jump around. You want to feel it. You want to make sure it's going to be right. So I stacked up the boxes. I grabbed a hold of the handle. And I walked around the aisles with it. And it felt pretty good. So I was like, yeah, this is, this is going to work out for me. Right away, it felt great. The other thing I looked at right away was the latches on the side of the boxes. How easy they were to take off and remove the box. That I thought was awesome too. So I'm gonna show you guys up close what I'm talking about. So I gotta tell you, one of the first things I checked out was the handle. I'm gonna be dragging this thing all around, up and down stairs over rocks and stuff like that out in parking lots. So you push down on this button here, locks into place. This is made of aluminum or some type of metal. The bottom part's plastic. It does move around a little bit, it worried me a little bit, but I've used this enough times now, I can say, you know what guys, this is a really good, strong handle. And another thing you have to look at when you're out there looking at different boxes is, stack the boxes up and make sure you got plenty of clearance here for your hand. Because there is other brands out there, when I stack the boxes up, pinch my fingers right against the handle and that would really annoy me, so I didn't like that one bit. But this handle goes up and down real nice, locks into place and you can set it down when you go to stack everything inside your car, so I think it works out pretty good. The very next thing I checked out was the latches, and I probably tried them about 100 times at the home center to make sure that they worked right, because the last thing I want is a box full of stuff falling off the other boxes. Now, if you want to take the box off the other boxes, flip open the latch on each side, you can lift the boxes right off. The box is molded on the bottom and the top of the other box, so it fits real nice down on top of each other and you can just latch them right back into place again. I walked over rocks, upstairs, even had this rocking around the back of my truck for a while, and I haven't had any problems with these latches at all. This is a really good system. One of the ways you can buy this Craftsman Versa Stack system, you get it with the three boxes, with the bottom base, with the plastic or steel wheels, the deep box in the center, and the 10 compartment organizer on top, and this retailed for about $99 when I bought it. On the top of each box with the red lid, you have a heavy duty handle. Feels like it's rubber coated in the center. On the front of each box, you have metal latches, and they hold the lid down real nice and tight. Inside the box, you will get a plastic tray, and I use that to hold my tire brushes. On this side here, I have enough room to store some extra tires. Underneath the booklets here, I have some shock oil, some tire prep. There's an extension cord folded up on the front, and I even have a can of brake clean. The next box I'd like to show you guys part of the VersaStack system. I bought this extra. This is a 17 inch two drawer box. It's got a heavy duty handle on top, latches on the side. It's got locking drawers. When you reach underneath, you can pull on the latch, open up the drawer. It's got metal slides on each side, six compartments. I like to keep all my tools in this drawer here. On the bottom drawer, I just like to have some extra bolts, some lug nut wrenches, some shocks, and some drive shafts. And when you push and close the drawer, it locks firmly into place. The next box I have to show you guys, I did buy an extra one of these. This is a 10 compartment organizer. This has plastic trays that you can remove, or you can leave them inside the box and store all your extra parts like I do, or you can take all those trays out and use it as one big box. This has a clear plastic lid. You can look down and see all your parts. It has two latches on the side, and it has two metal latches on the front and it has the heavy duty plastic handle on the front. Next box I have to show you, and I did buy an extra one of these, this is the deep box. The stuff that I use often, I like to keep toward the top of the stack. This deep box here has a plastic tray, my extra chargers, some charging cables, and a nice size wind up extension cord. The deep box also has the heavy duty handle, the latches on the side, and the metal latches on the front. 
Next box I have is called the suitcase and you can see it's about half the size of the deep box. I bought the suitcase box extra. Figured I'd leave it dedicated to my Cellmaster charger, power supply, and my discharge bank. Who knows, I may even customize the inside of the box. Suitcase box also has a heavy duty handle on top, latches, and metal latches on the front. And the last box I have to show you guys is just another deep box and I have two transmitters inside along with an ammo can filled with LiPo batteries. Yes, the box is pretty tall, but it's easy to wheel around. I already had three cars zip tied fast to the box. It made it real easy to go into the track all in one trip. So I hope you guys found this video beneficial to you. I know it's a little expensive. Just the three box set alone is roughly about $100. I have about $243 in this setup right here, but I'm at the track two, three times a week. So when I'm done, I like to unload my truck, roll it into the garage and be done. What's nice is I have some nice organization to go with it. I don't have to keep taking parts out of a box into another box and put it back to go racing again. This just makes it so much easier. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Join my Facebook group. That's the Oval RC. I'm Mark with the Oval RC. See you next time.